name is Parker and I am a teacher here at Brooklyn Middle School. This is my sixth grade math class and today we are working on integers and talking about things that are integers and that are not integers. So we're going to start with our warm up. Right now everybody should have what? Notebooks, Notebooks open. open. And then Dalen, what did you just do? Yeah, our hand signal. Can everybody put your fist at your belly for me? So I know we're thinking. Your warm up for today looks like this. In your brains, I want you to think about anything you know, anything you notice, anything you wonder. You can use your notes to help you if you need to. If you have an idea, we're going to do a thumbs up. If you have more than one idea, you can do more than one finger. The question at the top says, which one doesn't belong? We can try to answer that question, or you can just tell me any vocab you know, any math you can solve. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, if you would like to share, can you raise your hand for me? Eric, where would you like to start? All of them have a four, except for which one? The eight. The eight is not a four. All right. So we're going to put no four. And all the rest of them have a four. Tiffany, what are you thinking about? I don't think the negative eight over four belongs because um, I've never seen a fraction like that. I've never seen a negative number over a positive number. So I don't think that one Okay. We haven't seen this. Good handwriting. There we go. Mason? I think negative 4.0 doesn't belong because it's the only one that has a zero in it. That's the only zero. All right. Uh, Victor? Uh, I think 4.0 belongs because it's an integer. Victor says this is an integer. Tiffany, what else are you thinking about? But negative 8 over 4 could also belong because you can divide a negative 8 uh, and 4 into negative 8 and you get 4 so that, well, yeah, you get 4 so that is an integer. So we could do some math and we would turn this into an integer. All right, Sunday? All of them have something to do with four. All right. Ariana, what are you thinking about? Um, I think all of them are whole numbers because if you divide eight by four, that's still four, and two times two is four. So, like, none of them have any decimals. Okay. So, you said no decimals. and that they all end up having a four if we do some math to some of them. All right, Mason? I think four, I, I think four does not belong because it's the only one that has one number. It's only one digit, one number. All right, Samir, what are you thinking about? Two is an exponent, I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. We have an exponent. Anything else? Eric? Two is, the only, two is the only one squared. Who's the only one squared? Any other thoughts, Tiffany? <clears throat> um, the four is the only one that doesn't have any math to do with it. Like, you don't have to do anything to it to make it an integer. All right. Uh, Bianca? Four is a perfect square. Is my handwriting super awesome today, guys? Uh, <laughs> it's looking good. Okay. Anything else before we're done with our warm up? No, we're good? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Mason, I almost hit a race. Oh, negative 4.0 is the only one that. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Okay. I like that you read what was on the board to see if it was already up there or not. Malachi? Negative, negative four because it might 
might mean that it's lower than usual for it, so it's not a whole number in the picture. Oh, hold on. Okay, you said lower than, you said a regular for? Yeah, or whole number. Lower than, I'm going to put regular in here. Anything else before we wrap up? Eric? Negative 8 and negative 4.0 are the only ones that have negatives. The only negatives, cool. All right, feeling good? Yeah. Okay. We are getting ready to do an activity where you need lots of space on your table. So can you guys set your notebook kind of to the side? Keep it open though, definitely keep it open. We need your notes. So I'm gonna hand everybody a baggie. Everybody's gonna get their own bag and it's got lots of cards in it. Your job for three minutes is to sort these cards however you think you need to sort them. And we're gonna do this independently at first. Can somebody raise their hand and tell me what independently means, Victor? It means, it means to do it by yourself. Yeah, we're gonna do it by ourselves first. Then we'll do a second round where you can talk to the person next to you and check and see what they did and if it matches what you did. But at first, we're just gonna try it on our own. Any questions? No. Cool, okay. Don't open your baggies until we start the timer. That way everybody's got the same amount of time. We are going to start the timer right now. Go ahead, open your baggies. Spread some things out. See how you think you need to sort them. Miles is checking his notebook. I think that's one of yours. Can anybody tell me how many piles you guys think you're making? Mason? Two. two. I would agree with that statement. We should be making two piles. Did everybody find their vocab words in there? Yes. Runaway paper. Mm -hmm. Will you read the bottom part up on the board that says if you finish early? Oh, let me steal this. Sorry, we don't need that one. If you have any cards in your pile that you feel like don't make sense, let me know. Or any blank ones, let me know. These are the vision problems, right? Mm-hmm. Tiffany just asked a really awesome question. She said, when you see fractions, those can be division problems, right? First timer's up. Can everybody put your hands in your laps for a second? Freeze. We are getting ready to start the partner side of this now. It should be done soon. There we go, okay. Um, so I'm gonna set the timer again, and we have two minutes this time. If there were any that you were confused about, anything you weren't sure, or if you didn't finish yet, compare with the person sitting next to you and see if they can help you get everything sorted where it needs to go so that we can go over these once the two minutes is up. Ashley, if you wanna to talk to the people next to you, Brandon, if you wanna to talk to Malachi so that you guys have people to talk to, um, you can turn around a little or talk to the person next to you. Any questions? Everybody good? All right, the second timer starts now. Feel free to talk to the people around you. Check your answers. So it's like... It's eight, and I mean nine. If it was eight, it's a whole number, so we should put it right here. Uh, the rest of our integers make sense. Okay. Yeah, so it's five. This is an integer. This one is an <laughs> integer too because um it can be divided. We don't understand which part. It's a decimal. Yes, it has a decimal. 
So three point zero. There's like nothing. Uh, it 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 also equals uh, minus three. All right. Are we ready? So we're gonna perfect. We're gonna spend a couple minutes going over these answers together. If you are all done and everything is perfectly sorted, then your job is to check your answers. Did you put your answers in the same spots where I'm gonna put mine? If yours weren't finished uh, sorting yet, or if there were some that you were stuck on, make sure that you are listening to your classmates when they share their answers so you know why something goes where it goes. Ariana, where do you want to start? Um, I want to start with um, four squared. Four squared. Where do you think it should go? Integer. Why? It's a whole number. It's a whole yeah. number. Does anybody know what four squared equals? What would that turn into, Aaron? Eight. Oh. Mason? 16. Oh. 16. Can somebody tell me why? How come it's 16 and not eight, Sunday? Right. So it's not four times two. It should be four times four. Is that a mistake that happens a lot? Yes. All the time. So we just have to remember, um, we want the number four written down two times. It does equal 16. That's a nice, neat whole number. It is an integer. What do we want to do next, Samira? Um, two tenths. Two tenths. Where would you like it to go? Integer. Why? No idea. OK, I'm going to keep it in the middle and see if one of your classmates can help us figure out where it's supposed to go, OK? okay. Tiffany, what do you think? Um, two tenths goes an integer. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Two tenths goes in not an integer because ten cannot go in two. Right, so when we're dividing, and Victor had this question also, mm -hmm. you were doing the top divided by the bottom. 10 cannot fit inside of two evenly. This would be a decimal. This is not an integer. Good job, guys. Uh, Mason, what are we doing next? Um, 28 over seven is, is an integer. Why? Because 28 over seven is an integer. Why? You're so close. 28 can go into seven? I mean, or? seven can go into 28 four times. There we go, perfect. This is the number four. That's a nice, neat, lovely integer. Bianca, what are you thinking about? Um, 32 over 8 is an integer. How do you know? Because the, I divided it in like 72 um, divided by 8 and I got 9. And you got 9. Perfect. That's a nice, neat, whole number. What else? We got a lot left. Eric, what are you thinking about? Um, I think 7 is an integer because it's a whole number. Yeah, absolutely. Allison? Yeah, zero is one of our integers. What else, Ariana? Um, I also think um, <clears throat> negative. Well, how am I supposed to say that? The one into six, or oh, the, uh, is it this one here? Yeah, I don't know how you can say negative six over one. Okay, I think that's an integer. Because one can go into six, six times. Yeah, absolutely. When we do our dividing, and we haven't learned how to divide with positives and negatives yet, but you did your division correctly. Six divided by one is six. This would be a negative six. That is an integer. Good job. Yeah. Tiffany? Um, I want to do um, Malachi. Make sure you guys can hear what your classmates are saying. Tiffany, back to you. I want to do point. I want to do negative 0 0.04. Where would you like it to go? And not an integer. How come? Because any number behind the, zero, behind the decimal point, you can't divide that evenly. Yeah, we can't really get rid of it. That's like negative 4 pennies. We don't want to get rid of our pennies. They're still there. This is not an integer. Dalen? 5.0. 5.0. Where would you like it? Integer. How come? Yeah, that zero can go away. It will be a whole number. Um, Victor? Two and three tenths. Two 
And three times. I love the way that you said that. Um, that is not an integer because you can't make the three go away. Right. Perfect. Sukina. Oh, I'm so sorry. Samira. Uh, that's okay. Minus 23. Negative 23. Where do you want it? Uh, integer. Integer. How come? Because it's just a whole number. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any decimals. Perfect. Mason? Um, negative 3.0. Where do you want it? Um, integer. But Mason, it has a decimal. Um, it doesn't matter because it's still equal to the whole number. Perfect. That zero can go away. Good job. Uh, Eric? 16 divided by 5. Where does it go? Not integer. How come? Because it, it, it's not. Like, you can't divide it. Evenly. Yeah, yeah we have some leftovers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Miles? Uh, 10.1. Where does it go? Um, not integer because we can't get rid of the 1. Yeah, we can't get rid of that. That's like 10 cents. Um, Ariana? Um, wait, 3 and 2, 100 Ooh, nice. is not an integer. How come? Because um, it has a decimal. Yeah. And yeah, perfect. Ashley? It has a whole number in the back behind the decimal. Are integers allowed to have decimals? You want to check your notes really quick? If this whole number, if these were flip-flopped and the seven was in the front, this would be beautiful because that zero could go away. But when the seven is behind the decimal, this is like 70 cents and we don't want any change. We don't want any leftovers. So this one cannot be an integer. Where should we put it? Yeah. So if you see any leftovers, any numbers after the decimal, they can't go away. Okay. Mason? Five and three hard is not an integer. Why? Because um, it's three is it's, it's three is making it not a whole number. Perfect. Allison? Negative How come? Because you can also make Can it? Yeah. What do we think? Can we check with a classmate? Did anybody do 10 divided by 2 to see what that turned into, Bianca? It turns into 5. So this would be a negative 5. Where do you think that should go? And an integer. Yeah, good job. All right. Uh, we got two left. Ariana? Okay. Um, I think negative 1 third is not an integer. How come? Because... Um, you cannot divide 1 by 3 without it turning into a decimal. Perfect. I love it. Malachi, you got our last one. I think 11 um, is not 11 um, 2. 11 over 2. Yeah. yeah. I think it's not an integer. How come? Because it wouldn't be equal. Yeah, 2 can't go into 11 evenly. If it was 10, it would be equal. Yeah, absolutely. Check your uh, cards on your table. How do we do? Yeah. Pretty good. Can somebody tell me one that really stumped them? One that was probably the most confusing for you, Mason? Two over ten. Two over ten. Because it looks like those are numbers that kind of go together. It looks like we should be able to turn it into an integer. Um, and I told Aaron this a little bit ago, when we do more of these assignments, you will be able to check your answers with a calculator. Right now we're kind of doing some mental math. So later we can check our answers and make sure that they're not decimals. Sunday? Um, why did that one give you a hard time? The division, yeah. And so next time we can check our answer with a calculator. So you won't always have to do it in your head, but you guys did a very good job trying these or listening to your classmates to see what they said. Thank you for joining our math class today where we learned about integers. Go 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 Go